Okay, Diana here. Today is the day. We're going to link our bone and we're going to save it and we're going to bring it in to Cartoon Animator 5. I'm excited. I hope you are. <laughs> I have written down a little quote here that shows you how it is done. You have your bone 1 and bone 2 and we want to link bone 2 to bone 1. The way that you link it is you, is you copy bone 1 you paste it in front of bone two and you add a second colon and it is as simple as that bone one copy paste in front of bone two and add a second colon now i'm going to delete this because we don't want to accidentally it would ruin it when we tried to bring it in okay everything is actually linked to the torso you've got the torso the right leg then the torso, the left leg, then the torso, the torso nub, head, and head nub, and then the torso arm, right arm, and then the torso left arm. So we're going to start out with torso, we're going to copy it, and we're going to go to the right leg, hit it twice, select home, that'll bring it to the front, control V, to paste torso, then shift, add the second colon. Now shift, go to the end, control, copy, step up one step to the right foot, click twice, hit home, control V, add the second column, shift, column, shift, end, control, copy, click on the right hub, hit home, Control V, Shift, second column, and we have our first link. Torso, right leg, right leg, right foot, right foot, right foot, nub. Now we're going to link the left foot. So we go back to torso, and we're going to click twice, Control, copy, go up to left leg, hit home, Control V, Shift, column, Shift, end, Control copy, go up to left foot, hit home, control V, shift column, shift end, control copy, shift home, control V. And now we have our second link, torso, left leg, left leg to left foot, and left foot to left nub. Our next link is going to be the torso, copy, control C, go to the torso nub. Click it, hit home, control V, shift column, shift in, control copy. Now we want that nub linked to the head, so we click twice on the head, click home, control V, shift column, shift in, control copy, head nub, home, control V, shift column, and we have our torso linked to the torso nub torso nub linked to the head, and the head linked to the head nub. Now we're going to link the torso, control copy, to the right arm, home, control V, shift column, shift in, control copy, to the right hand, home, control V, shift column, shift in, control copy, home, control V, shift column, and now we have our right hand done, torso to right arm, right arm to right hand, and right hand to right nub. And our last link is going to be the torso, control copy, left arm, home, control V, shift column, shift in, control copy, left hand, home, control V, shift column, shift in, Control copy, home, control V, shift column, and we have linked all of our items. Now we're going to make a little quick rundown to make sure every single one of them has two, two columns in the middle and one at the end. And we are there. So we're going to save our document. Now we're going to save as, we're going to save it as an SVG file. And we're going to ha make sure that the type is convert to outline, embed for your image location, 
the properties, you want it to be presentation attributes, and you can have decimal places two or three. It doesn't matter. It's your, your option. Then you're going to click OK. Now I'll be right back and we'll open up Cartoon Animator and see if it works. I have opened up Cartoon Animator 5. I have my little directory here because I wanted to show you that you can drag and drop it. You don't have to go and look for it. So you find your little SVG file and we're going to just simply drag it right into Cartoon Animator and voila! How exciting! It all came in. It's all linked just like it's supposed to be. Let's see if we can move everything. Yes. Do the arm. Leg. The head. Well, we have our character already rigged and ready to go. How exciting! The next step will be getting ready to animate it. I hope this has been a learning experience for you. It most certainly has been for me. Have a great day, and I will see you in another lesson. Diana.